welcome to Bohemian's Ground here in Anacotti. It's Young Munster versus Gary Owen, the under-20 cup final. Referee today, Noel Sexton. Gary Owen, of course, winning the Munster Senior Cup down in Musgrave Park yesterday. And Young Munster winning the Junior Cup in Thoman Park against Kilfiegel the week before. Well, which club can win two Munster Cups this season? Will it be Gary Owen? Will it be Young Munster? Gary Owen here with the early penalty. We're here in Bohemian's Ground, as I said. Gary Owen versus Young Munster, the Munster under-20 cup final. Gary Owen just quickly to give you the team. Dave Brannigan at full back. Paddy Byrne and Brendan McInerney are the wingers. Dave Heaton, Connor Richards in the centres. Connolly and O'Connor, the half backs. The front row of Murphy, Conway and Smith. Second rows, Kelly and Griffin and the back row. Aidan Sullivan, Garth Lodge and Connor Fitzgerald. And Young Munster doing some defending here. That's a very loose ball out from Massey O'Connor. Just quickly to give you the Young Munster side. Clem Casey, John Duggan, Rory Burke, O'Neill, the winger John McNamara. Halfbacks Brian Mangan and Thomas Cronin and the front row Han and Kiernan, Paul O'Connell and Dara Payne in the second row and Reardon McDonough and Mangan in the back row. Penalty here to Gary Owen, Mark Connolly with the ball in hand and you remember here on RLO TV Sport we brought you Gary Owen versus Nina in the under 20 semi-final and Connolly had an absolutely super game as uh, Gary Owen run out easy winners in that one here with the line out in from Damian Conway and well claimed from Gary Owen to come around that laid back Munster, young Munster man offside there surely and all a bit scrappy as no sex is having good looking that's come back on the young Munster side Cronin with a kick ahead underneath that one Paddy Byrne who scored a try against Shannon in an early round of this competition before Shannon were eliminated Shannon beat Gary Owen on that night but did play an illegal pair so Gary Owen were awarded the match and now find themselves here in this final and running it from deep inside their own half. And good play this from Gary Owen. And hints of a forward pass, but a get away with that one. McInerney takes it on. And great play here from Gary Owen, running all that way into the young Munster half. And now it's laid back. Should be there for Morris O'Connor. And no, says Noel Sexton. And the linesman brought them all the way back here for an earlier infringement. And we're still scoreless here in Anacotti. Gary Owen versus Young Munster. The referee is having a word with one of the Young Munster players for something the linesman saw. And gives a penalty to Gary Owen. They go for a position here. Connolly gets a good solid kick in there and it's a great line out for Gary Owen just about five yards from if even that much and Gary Owen jogging forward the line out Damien Conway the hooker he's got Kelly and Griffin to aim for and well claimed just missed that one on the peel and surely would have gotten in for the try Brian Murphy coming around at pace to take that from the line out but couldn't get there in the end and a smart play from Gary Owen if they could have got their timing a bit better, the scrum now to young Munster, Thomas Cronin. And this is a crucial heel for them. They'll want to get this ball away. But the free kick awarded from the scrum, and it's the scrum half. Cronin away with it. Tries to lay it back. Gary Owen, though, coming back with that ball. Gone into touch. Line out to young Munster. First line out we've seen from them in this final here on RLO TV Sport. And it's a good one in as far as Paul O'Connell. Young Munster with the drive just outside their 22, still scoreless here in Anacotti today. And Cronin directing his men, and it's a very good drive. Now it comes out to the scrum half, out to Mangan. The boot ahead for Young Munster. Up under that one was Brannigan, and it was a great tackle in there and held the ball well. It's come back though on the Young Munster side, and now Cronin out to the winger. The chip ahead is gone into touch. And John McNamara chasing after that one, couldn't collect. And the play will be called back. The ball has gone out in the full. Young Munster with the line out. And again, Paul O'Connell and Dara Payne in there for that. It's gone short. Young Munster have done well to claim that. It wasn't the best of catches in the line. And now they have this chance to run again at Gary Owen, perhaps get the opening score of this match. Into the line was Clem Casey. He's held up in a great flick up there into the hands of Rory Burke from Cronin. And Munster pile over this, but Gary Owen have come over it and they seem to have it. Owen Kelly in there and they do have it. O'Connor out to Connolly and Connolly's kick is a good one. Will a fine touch for the Gary Owen out half. It doesn't 
John Duggan couldn't claim, and this is great play from Gary Owen in the centre there, Dave. In the try, Connor Richardson is going for that corner. He's just held up short, the Gary Owen player, about a yard short of the line. The best chance of the match so far. You have to say it was great defending from Young Munster in the end, but what a superb attack from Gary Owen. The two centres, Heaton and Richardson, combining well, but the scrum after that opportunity is to Young Munster. And Young Munster with the free kick straight from the scrum. Number eight, Mangan breaking with it out to the scrum half. Thomas Cronin, he's kick ahead, collected by Dave Brannigan. Brannigan returns the kick and he's chasing after that one. Can he get there? Underneath it again, Mangan, good hands from him. The tackle sees him into touch. That was a great chance. And you can hear referee Sexton there saying, Gary Owen, number one, that's Brian Murphy, who is penalised. And Young Munster through Brian Mangan. And you can see that line there just behind him is the Young Munster 22. And the kick brings us to the halfway line here in Anacati. Still scoreless, Gary Owen and Young Munster in the under 20 cup final. Young Munster have shortened the line out. And that goes all the way back over the head of O'Connell. It's a bit scrappy, but it's fallen for McDonough. And Young Munster are over it. Now just edging their way into the Gary Owen half. Mangan again with the Gary Owen. Underneath it, Dave Brannigan doesn't reach him. The ball has gone loose now. Can Young Munster capitalise on this? But Gary Owen again have stolen it through Connor Fitzgerald. Playing well for Gary Owen today. Morris O'Connor now breaks in a good break from the scrum half. Out to McInerney. Well, Paddy Byrne it is. Great run here from Gary Owen. The out half for Young Munster by Mangan there in the tackle. Brannigan hits the line. Centres are there in support. Gary Owen held up and they're playing great running rugby in the matches we brought you in this under 20 cup. Gary Owen want to run everything, but to their credit, we also brought you Young Munster versus Richmond. And in that game, you recall, Young Munster ran everything and scored a couple of lovely tries. Well, we've yet to get one today. But Young Munster getting that one out of the scrum. Thomas Cronin clearing it. Again, only as far as Brannigan. He's having a great game for Gary Owen today. Mark Connolly now. And Gary Owen a little bit loose there and the referee has blown his whistle and that play will be called back and Dave Heaton won't progress any further with that and he'll be called all the way back by Noel Sexton and he's having a good look at those front rows as Thomas Cronin puts the ball in and indeed he does now it's at the feet of Mangan now Cronin out, he's out half. He gets a good boot on this one. Bounces up again for Dave Brannigan. Well, he's loving his game today. He's had a good few runs and been very solid under that high ball. This time his kick is collected by O'Neill. And the ball gone loose, but Young Munster are over it. Knock on there, as you can see from Mr Sexton's signal. And Gary Owen have had the better of this first half and the best scoring opportunity of the game so far. Now they have the scrum. Morris O'Connor to the feet of Conor Fitzgerald. And Fitzgerald picks and elects to go himself. Doesn't get around the tackling of Dermot McDonough. Also beside him was Brian Mangan. And it's come out on the Gary Owens side as the referee was just about to blow his whistle and that's a good break from Garth Walsh. Back again for O'Connor. O'Connor now out to Connolly. Connolly with the boot and the outhouse have kicked a lot of their possession today. Chasing back here is John Duggan. And that has gone out. And they'll be called back from that one. And Mark Connolly just getting his angles wrong there. And a good enough crowd out here in Anacotti today. You can see and just a little look at them before we get into the scrum for young Munster. The season dragging on so long, right to the end of May, the crowd still coming out to watch. And now Young Munster have this chance, can they break the tackle? There's a good tackle in there from Paddy Byrne, but Young Munster still in possession. The support is there, Casey's in looking for that one, so is Mangan. Will it come out? It does now for Cronin, but missed in the middle of the field by McDonough. And Young Munster still in possession. And there was a chance there for them, a bit of space in midfield, couldn't capitalise. And now they go again, but knocked forward from the hands of McNamara and Gary Owen break, referee playing advantage, good play from the referee, Dave Brannigan and look at him jink one way and then the other and lay the ball back for Conor Fitzgerald, the number eight in support, good play this from Gary Owen, good continuity and good support on both sides. 
Gary Owen with the penalty from that. And we're just coming up to the halfway point in this match. Not much time left in our first kick at goal from Mark Connolly. He's a long way out. Can he put Gary Owen ahead? No, doesn't have the legs dropped short. And fielded by Mangan and gone out into touch. And indeed, that was the final action of this first half. It finishes at the end of this first half. Gary Owen and Young Munster scoreless. Gary Owen had that one very good opportunity when the two centres, Heaton and Richardson, had a break on the line. And then Young Munster, well, they had a bit of space a minute ago, couldn't make it. And the penalty from Gary Owen there, from Connolly, just dropping short. So you've had no score in this first half. Gary Owen versus Young Munster. Join us after the break for the second half of the Munster Under-20 Cup Final. Gary Owen versus Young Munster. Welcome back here to Anacotti, Bohemians ground. Well, they're not playing today. Gary Onar, as our young Munster in the under-20 cup final. We're just waiting for the second half to get underway. And unfortunately for these spectators, it was scoreless up to the half-time break. No score on either side. Best chance, I suppose, for Gary Owen from the penalty uh, to Mark Connolly. He couldn't convert. Here he is now about to get the second half underway. Scoreless as Noel Sexton has a look around and a last chat to the players and here we go, second half, Munster under 20 cup final, Gary Owen kick off and it's a long, long kick into the arms of scrum half Cronin who catches without fault and kicks back again, well held by the winger McInerney finds his out half, Connolly and Connolly out to the other wing and this one for Doug and Young Munster still in possession but they're deep in their own half if they want to run from there and it's a great tackle from the Gary Owen man to put that ball into touch Gary Owen with the line out Conway with it and well held by Gary Owen in the line out there in good control here the ball gone to ground knocked on and unfortunate really because they did claim it very well from the line out and poor handling from Gary Owen costing them the scrum to Young Munster Cronin to feed. And it's a good heel and a knock on at the base of the scrum, surely from the number eight. The ball gone loose, and Gary Owen are fastest to it. And now on that ball, Connolly. Connolly with a pass out, but it's gone a bit to ground. The centres try and capitalise. McInerney now back in possession. Connolly has come round in the loop, but nobody seems to be able to catch that ball at the moment. And a series of loose plays. And which one is Mr. Sexton going to penalise? We're we'll further into this second half now. Still scoreless, Conway. Good ball to the front of the line in the scrum half with a fine pass across to Conley O'Connor's ball. A long ball, but a good one. And Young Munster making a bit of a meal of that one. And the referee is giving the knock on. You can hear the Young Munster bench saying that the ball was in the air. But nevertheless, the scrum will go to Gary Owen. It's a good position from them. O'Connor to feed and Fitzgerald waiting for this and O'Connor making sure of that one but Connolly just knocks that ball on again it does come to the hands of Dave Heaton but that ball won't be allowed to go and well O'Connor's pass did go a little bit to ground but Connolly also waited for it to come to him the scrum to young Munster Cronin feeds and Gary Owen putting all sorts of pressure on them and they break that ball from the scrum but they won't make any ground from there Gary Owen all over them the Munster still have it though now back to pop forward Tom Kiernan Kiernan is tackled and tackled well it took two Gary Owen players to take him down and now young Munster try again Mangan with it into the centre O'Neill O'Neill is held now Cronin has this chance again and young Munster now with this great chance into the line is 
the centre. Burke, Burke, will he make it all the way into the corner? Goes into McNamara. McNamara is held by Brendan McInerney. Young Munster still have it. Cronin has set this ball up. Coming in with it now is Paul O'Connell. Gar oh, young Munster really going for this line now. Can they get the opening score of this match out half? Mangan, will he make it all the way in? He just held up by one of the Gary Owen defenders and now Cronin tries to just nudge his way through there. Can't make it either. Young Munster all over this Gary Owen line. But you no, know, Sexton is bringing that play to a halt. There was no sign of that ball coming out of there. The scrum is to Young Munster, right on this Gary Owen line. Great pressure from them now. Can they open the scoring here in Anacotti today? It's out to the out half. Mangan into the full back. Casey, can Casey make it to the line? Just held up while a tackle, and I think the post holding him up, and Young Munster can't get through the goal post. Now, has he awarded the try? He hasn't. No, Sexton. Just couldn't see if that ball was touched down or not. The penalty is to Young Monster. And will they go for the three points? They will indeed. And this is a great chance for Young Monster to open some scoring in this match by Mangan. Makes it safe. The flags go up. Young Monster three. Gary Owen nil in the Munster Under-20 Cup Final and we've had to wait until well into the second half our opening score of this match. Line out now to Gary Owen. Damien Conway again. Well claimed by Gary Owen. It was Conor Fitzgerald winning that line out for them. They need to come back now. Mark Connolly boots that ball down the field. But well held. Well held by young Munster O'Neill under that and now Gary Owen. It's their chance to do some fielding. Paddy Byrne breaks in fields but only as far as a host of young Munster players he won't get any further than that but Gary Owen or over young Munster tried to steal it and it looks as if young Munster have stolen it and well played young Munster from that they have the scrum and at the feet of Mengen out to Cronin and now Young Munster with a great chance to run this. are full of confidence now with the three points up. And what a break from Casey. Casey waiting for the support. It's coming by McNamara. Also there is the scrum half. Cronin can't capitalise. And Gary Owen doing so well to defend. But where is that ball? Now gone is the result of that. And what a break from Young Munster. Well, now that they have the three points, maybe a little bit more confident in this second half. And trying to put more points on the board. Three points to nil is not going to be enough for them. It's just too narrow a margin. Gary Owen could come back so easily. The scrum to Young Munster, great position. They're about eight yards out from that Gary Owen line. Cronin feeds and Cronin out to his out half. Mangan, Mangan is in. He's in for the try. A great try from the out half. Eight nil now to Young Munster. That was a super try and they're absolutely delighted. Those are the insurance points that they needed. They're dominating this match now after Gary Owen perhaps had the better of that first half. Conversion to come from Brian Mangan. Indeed, he did convert that. Gary Owen nil, Young Munster 10 way into this second half now. Gary Owen trying to do something. Costa, the substitute in there for Gary Owen. A hint of a forward pass perhaps to Scanlon, who's on in place of Richardson. Maurice O'Connor is in looking for that. And Young Munster have hit them with a brilliant try. And Brian Mangan has gotten all their points. Try, conversion, penalty. And now half will surely be Young Munster's man of the match if the scoreline stays the same. Now Gary Owen with the line out. Conway waits for the calls to be right, which indeed they are. And again, Conor Fitzgerald in that line out, securing the ball for Gary Owen. They drive forward now. That's gone to ground. And O'Connor will look for that. Forwards decide they'll take it on another few yards, but they're not making any progress. Which indeed they are. And again, Conor Fitzgerald in that line out, securing the ball for Gary Owen. They drive forward now, that's gone to ground. And O'Connor will look for that. Forwards decide they'll take it on another few yards, but they're not making any progress. They need to spin that ball. Now they do. O'Connor 
in as far as Gareth Walsh and Walsh is driving at those posts. It takes two, three to stop and Paul O'Connell in there for young monster. O'Connor now out to McInerney. McInerney is going to go for that corner. He's got the support of Aidan O'Sullivan. O'Sullivan into the out half, but he won't make it either. Mark Connolly held up again. And Gary Owen really pressing to get back into this match. Aidan O'Sullivan is the ball in hand, but the whistle gone. Young Munster with a bit of defending to do. And they decide to run this one straight at Young Munster. They need to do more than that to get past this Young Munster pack. And now Gary Owen, can they spin it wide? Indeed they can, it's in the hands of Walsh. Walsh all the way out the line. The full back is there and now running in for that. Paddy Byrne and Byrne has gotten over for the try. Dave Brannigan came into the line, the full back, and out to Paddy Byrne. And Byrne has pulled some points back for Gary Owen. Ten points to five now, the young Munster lead and the conversion. Well, Mark Connolly now, can he make it? Ten points to seven. He's come under that a bit. And it's gone to the left and wide. No change to the score. Ten points to five in favour of young Munster. And Gary Owen, that exactly what they needed. Paddy Byrne with a great try. We saw him score a great try against Shannon earlier on in this cup, a breakaway try that saw him run about 70 yards in. But this one a lot sweeter in this under-20 cup final. Gary Owen need to come again. Now Conor Fitzgerald, time running out for this Gary Owen side. And just a couple of minutes to go in this match. Gary Owen five points down, trying a conversion will win it for them. Young Munster, I'm sure, will defend as if their lives depended on it. Well, the under 20s, their season does depend on it. A cup at stake at the end of this game. Gary Owen in possession, however. McInerney in the line there has come all the way across. And the referee very quick to award the penalty there. There was no way that ball was coming back. Young Munster will be glad of this opportunity to clear their lines, Mangan has that ball in hand and you can be sure he'll put every ounce of energy he has and effort in behind that kick to relieve the pressure which he does just inside the 22 Gary Owen still there in a good position but young monster with the line out Paul O'Connell who was stolen from him by Aidan O'Sullivan and now Gary Owen had this chance can they make it count the ball bouncing badly handled in the end by Gary Owen and they're breaking away with it as McNamara and Young Munster doing brilliantly to take this ball out and well now onto the Gary Owen 22 great defence from Young Munster but bad handling from Gary Owen to gift the possession to them Reardon now with it Gary Owen have stolen it back through Garth Walsh Young Munster though tackling again ball and man tackle there it was a good one holding up Gary Owen well played Paul O'Connell and the whistles from the crowd disagreeing with the referee and hoping for a full-time whistle as well. Young Munster must try and stop Gary Owen here again. They go and search. Conor Fitzgerald takes the ball over the 22. Penalties to Gary Owen. They run everything now just out of time. Five points down. They need to get in for a try. Scanlon taking this. Paul O'Connell tries to tackle him into Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald the big number eight with the ball out intercepted by Young Munster. Well played again from them. John Duggan breaking out this time and that is how they'll win this match if they have possession of the ball, but again a penalty to Gary Owen. Fitzgerald runs this one again. Support is there from Costello, but another loose pass, fly kick by Young Munster, and that's exactly what they need. Just get that ball into the Gary Owen half at any cost. Time surely up at this stage. You can see Mr. Sexton having a good look at the watch. Scrum is to Gary Owen. They're inside their own half. That's not where they need to be at this point. Conor Fitzgerald holds that ball at his feet, breaks with it eventually, hands off Brian Mangan in the tackle. Now what can Gary Owen do? That was for Brannigan, but Brannigan couldn't hold it as he broke and came into the line. No time left for Gary Owen in this match. They're still the five points down. They need to score a try. And that is that the final whistle gone from Noel Sexton? Gary Owen 5, Young Munster 10 here in this Munster Under 20 Cup Final. All Young Munster's points coming in the second half from the out half. Brian Mangan, a try, a conversion and a penalty from him. And Gary Owen dejected as you can see there. There one score, a try from Paddy Byrne. And we leave you on Orlo TV Sports as the Young Munster's crowd. Well, the team have a good sing-song out here in Bowes.